Oh my gosh, today is absolutely gorgeous. It is nice and breezy and cool and perfect for today's project because today I'm going to make some changes to underneath my large pergola. Now, this is my dining pergola, even though it doesn't look like it, but it really is. And if you stick around to the end, you'll get to see that. But today I'm going to be adding two vertical containers that are made out of felt and they are going to be filled with a bunch of beautiful flowers. Now, I will talk all about this gorgeous plant that I'm going to be adding to my containers. I'm going to talk about how I'm going to be watering and I'm going to share these containers with you. So let's talk about these containers because these containers are not any containers. But I'm going to do a quick disclaimer because this is not a paid promotional video. It's not sponsored by anyone. This is just me sharing information with you. So these are absolutely a must have because these are actually meant for inside your house. And the reason why you can use these inside is because of the construction of them. Now I'm not gonna talk about the name of them because again, it's not a promotional video, but I will put all the information of where I got them and the name of them down in the description area in case you're interested in reaching out to that company. But I have had these for two years, so I'm not sure if they still have them or not. But what I like about this is that they have this almost leathery, breathable plastic inside. And I don't know how breathable it is, but it is one that will retain the moisture inside and not leach through the back of your uh, felt. And it will not drain through because this lining actually lifts up to about right here. So I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but do you see how it comes up to about here? So that is going to hold in water. And if you don't overwater your plants, it's going to be great for retaining moisture for all your plants for quite a while. Now I will be adding my drip irrigation system to this, but what I'm going to be using because of the fact that this does retain moisture, I'm going to be adding this quarter inch soaker hoses because these will leach out water, but it's not going to be oversaturated. So that's what I'm going to be using. And I will be stacking this one on top of the other. I have two of them and I am going to be stacking them and raising this plaque up and then putting these in the bottom. So I'm really excited to hear what your thoughts are on what it looks like at the very end. But because the wall over here is vinyl siding and because it has a little bit of a lip, for these to actually expand, I'm going to need to add a piece of wood to the back, which I painted black. And I do still need to cut them to size. But I'm going to tack them in the back like that. I don't know how well you can see it because it is black on black. But I'm going to be then screwing them on onto this uh, container and then screwing them onto the wall. So to hold them up, because the containers have these little rivets, so I'm going to have to add an extra uh, little washer and then a screw through it so that it doesn't go and penetrate all the way through. So now let's talk about the plants that I'm going to be adding to this containers because this is a beautiful array of color. I'm going to be adding some Creeping Jenny. I'm going to start off with that because these bloom little yellow flowers and it's going to cascade and fill out and cover some of that black container. And this is just absolutely stunning and then i'm going to be adding also to help cover some of the container i'm going to be adding dysandra because this is just silvery beautiful and gorgeous this is one of my favorite and any of these plants you can use in any kind of container now the creeping jenny and even the uh, silver dysandra here can be used as ground cover as well and then I'm going to be adding two beautiful succulents that are called Orange Rio Grande. Uh, and I'm going to try to pronounce the name, but I think it's called Porcelain. 
but these are absolutely gorgeous and they're going to be perfect for that soaker hose because these don't require a lot of water and that's going to work out really well then i'm going to be adding some a uh, couple of pastas one i don't have over here but i'm going to be adding some pastas because this one here is called a gemstone hosta and it's a very small hosta and it's got this really beautiful hue of blue in the leaves and it's going to start blooming really soon and i don't know how if you can even see that little bit of blue radiance on it but this is going to be gorgeous and hostas like a moisture but they don't want to be oversaturated with moisture so that's also going to work well and this is actually the flower of those succulents it's kind of smashed but that's what that one looks like then i'm going to be adding some geraniums and these ones here and i'll again i'll put the name down these ones here are are uh, zonal vancouver the foliage itself is gorgeous and the color of the flowers are kind of like an orangey red which is kind of beautiful but you don't need the flowers when you got beautiful foliage like this. So those are going to go in there as well. And then I'm going to be adding some hookera. This one here is the same hookera that I added over in my side garden. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here. This one here is called the zipper hookera. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I love the bottoms of the leaves. I love that it has that red and green color. And it's just going to complement everything here in a different way. I think that's going to cover it. I think I may add one more hosta. Uh, I, I don't have it up here, but we'll see how this all works out right now. But that's what's going up on this wall. And I'm going to go ahead and get started before it gets any later. Now, for me to add, for me to add this hose, I have to put a hole through this container, and I'm just doing it at the very top. Hopefully, that's going to work out fine. Now I want it nice and snug around the pipe. That's gonna work. So it's gonna be right underneath that lip. You're not even gonna see that hole. So now this will expand out because this is now flush and it's not tilting up this way. So that's gonna work out great. So my irrigation goes all the way from the side of the house and I just connected it with just a quarter inch tubing here. I ran it up against the wall here 
And then now I will tuck this in over here. So I'm going to be running it up through here. I will splice in between and then add another line over this way. In through the hole. And I'm just going to run it. Over to this direction, I'm going to add another line right to go right through here. So I'm going to splice it right around right here. I'm just going to use a T to cross over and I'm just eyeballing it. Here. I'm going to add an elbow. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to add an elbow. There. And then that's just going to tuck right in there. Perfect. And that I can filter right in there. Once I put the soil in there, it's going to hold it in place. So this soil here, it's just garden all-purpose soil, which is just for vegetables and flowers. So because it doesn't have like perlite or vermiculite in it, I went ahead and added the vermiculite to retain some moisture. The perlite just for, you know, just added circulation of uh, the water. And also I added some worm casting and a little bit of fertilizer. So this should have all the nutrients for those flowers to do really, really well. Either that or kill them, but hopefully they'll do well. So then what I did is I added water to the soil. This way that the soil is nice and moist. If it clumps like this, it's moist. If you get water out of it, it's too much water. So this is how you want your soil to be. And that way the plants have already some moisture to re start getting those uh, roots started. Oh, the other thing I also put in here was a little bit of bone meal to establish the roots. So all this should be really well for those plants to do good. Okay, now I'm going to add the dirt, add the plant. One other thing that you want to do is uh, sure your plant is well hydrated before you put it in the soil as well. did is I connected it with the T right there and then I pushed it down and then I tucked the soaker hose into the fabric and then I added it around this plant right here. I, you can't hardly see it because it's kind of flush to the soil and then I kind of went around over here and then I tucked it underneath the geranium and all the way around to the back. I know, you guys are uh, warming your tree.